Hello, and welcome to 40 Something and Fabulous with Penny. I usually fix up a little bit before I do a video, but this was looking so good, I'm like, I have to totally like video this and share this with them. So um, I'm gonna show you what is on the menu for tonight. So in my crock pot, I have a sirloin tip roast. Um, it's actually part of a fresh cow that one of our former neighbors um, has butchered recently. And I'm making a gravy to go in with it. This is onion with French onion, a can of French onion soup and a can of cream of mushroom soup. I actually used small cans, uh, regular Campbell's cream of mushroom and the French onion. And I actually wish I would have had a large can of the French onion because um, I think more French onion would be really good. And I know this looks kind of gross, but it smells amazing. And I think it's going to be absolutely delicious. I put my um, cut up onions in there. I probably need some more onion, actually. But um, we'll see how, it lo how it's looking a little later. Then I diced four, I believe it was four, uh, just regular potatoes. I bought a bag of potatoes. I don't even know what kind they are. Probably white potatoes. Um, they might be russets. Let's see. I don't think it really makes that much of a difference. Idaho potatoes. Green giant Idaho potatoes. So I cut four of those. They were about this size. I was going to go ahead and cut five, but um, I seem like I have enough. So if I don't, I'll go ahead and add it. I also, um, I don't use baby carrots anymore because of the um, process they go through to keep them pretty and orange. They actually give them a bleach bath. So I actually buy raw carrots and I, um, I peel them myself. And what I do is I keep all of my veggie trash in a bag and I stick it in the freezer. Right now I have a whole bunch of turkey bones and I have my, um, my uh, start of my, um, we just moved in this house. So everything I'm having to accumulate, I started a bag of uh, veggie trash so I can make some broth for an amazing soup later on this winter. So all right, I will be back in a bit and show you a little bit more of what's going on. Okay, so um, this is what I came up with with uh, my vegetables. And I didn't say this, but I put all of my veggie um, trash in here. Like even onion skin, you know, like the um, crinkly stuff. Because you're going to strain it all out. Although, if you want to leave the veggies in, you can um, not include the onion skin. And you can leave the vegetables in. But I typically strain it. And then I'll add vegetables or whatever to the soup when I make it. I also put the date on it so that way I know how old it is and what which one needs using first. Because if I fill this bag up and start another bag, obviously I want to use this one first. So I have everything cut up ready for the pot roast. I ended up with a lot more carrots than I thought I would, but I wanted to go ahead and use all those. And then um, we've got the potatoes and the yummy gravy that's going to go in it. And of course the juices are going to cook out of this beautiful roast. Um, there will be a lot of uh, beef broth that cooks off this as well. And the seasonings, I didn't say what I used for seasonings. I am a seasoning, um, I just kind of, man, I just throw caution to the wind when it comes to my seasonings. I'm actually totally in love with this. I use it on so many things. This is actually for olive oil and for dipping bread. Like, um, they serve at Carrabba's. That's what these are for, but they have such a good flavor that I add them to all kinds of meats. I add them to soups. I add it to all kinds of things. And then I have this as well. I sprinkled a little bit of that in. Um, this is something new that I had just gotten that's similar to something that I used to use all the time. But um, I uh, sprinkled a little bit of that in. And of course, salt and pepper. Okay, I'll update later. Okay, so everything in the pot is looking amazing. I'm letting a lot of heat out right now, but you see it's bubbling. I did it on high because I didn't know if it was gonna be able to cook long enough. I'm actually gonna turn it down to low. Um, I, it's almost three o'clock and I put it on at 11. So 12, one, two, three, almost four hours it's been on high. So I'm turning it down to low to cook for the rest of the day. The um, Potatoes are looking so delicious. The carrots are looking softer. That gravy smells amazing. The beef is cooking its juices out. So I'm super excited. Okay, so obviously it's been a while since I've done videos. 
I did not include a picture of, or uh, a finished video of the pot roast. It came out amazing. Um, my husband absolutely loved it. Um, it was a sirloin tip roast, if I didn't say that. And it was a little more, um, the consistency of it was a little tougher, more similar to steak, like a really tender steak versus the way some pot roast, like a chuck roast or whatever, will peel apart. And then that could be because I didn't cook it quite as long as if I had cooked it longer, maybe it would have shredded a lot better, but it was actually delicious. It shredded, it was just a little uh, tougher consistency, not like a mock roast. I've, one time I made the mistake of buying a mock tender roast because it sounds like it's <laughs> okay to buy, but I did not like it at all. So I've only done that once, won't ever do it again. <laughs> But it was nothing like that. Um, but anyway, it was delicious. The French onion soup was like, the French onion soup and the cream and mushroom soup was a great addition to pot roast. Usually I pour some um, chicken broth or sometimes beef broth, but I don't really love beef broth. It's so strong to me. So the chicken broth to me is better. But I would pour about the crock pot about that full of chicken broth and get my veggies down in it so that it uh, they would um, kind of boil in it, I guess. But um, I really loved the gravy that the French onion soup and the cream and mushroom soup made. And my husband liked it as well. It was very thin. Um, it looked thick in the bowl, but by the time the juice is cooked out of the pot roast and, and everything kind of mixed together, it was a very thin gravy. So if you like it thicker, of course, you could make a roux with a flour and uh, butter combination and add to your gravy to make it a lot thicker. Um, it was perfect though, as far as I was concerned. But um, so yeah, uh, that's a very simple and easy crock pot. You could throw everything in the crock pot early in the day and cook it on low all day. I cooked mine on high most of the day because of how late I, I got it started. Um, but it's a great meal for like if you work outside the home and you're coming home late, um, you throw it in the crock pot, put it on before you leave for work. And then when you come in, you've got dinner ready. Um, you can do a quick, um, uh, pan of rice, which that's what I did to go with it. I made um, jasmine rice. It's like our favorite go-to. Um, so we've been eating that for years. I just love the flavor of jasmine rice. And so I made some jasmine rice and we just poured the gravy over it and ate the veggies and the meat all with the rice. It was so good. But yeah, that was a super easy recipe. Um, great for any time you don't really want to slave in the kitchen all day. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave me a comment and let me know if you tried it and let me know if you have any awesome pot roast recipes. I love pot roast. That's like one of my favorite, favorite meals. So um, I definitely would love to hear how you make pot roast for your family. Okay. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel, 40 something and fabulous for a couple more years anyway, or so. <laughs> okay.